The Bloodline has arrived. The longest reigning tag champions in WWE history, the Usos. The longest reigning Universal Champion in WWE history, Roman Reigns and their special counsel, Paul Heyman. A group that has stood atop the WWE for the last few years with the dominance, the swagger, and the gold to prove it. And tonight, what they do will prove it even further. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman A decade ago, Roman Reigns set foot in WWE alongside two men, and they changed the world. I dare say the bloodline is even more dominant than that group. When you look at the titles and the main events that Reigns and the Usos have won, it's hard to argue. The Usos, the most dominant team of this generation. The Tribal Chief, the most dominant main event competitor in decades. The Bloodline simply cannot be stopped. It is their table, their company, their industry. He is the Tribal Chief, the most dominant champion of this era. Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. The bloodline is here. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by their special counsel, Paul Heyman, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman. Individually, both already have Hall of Fame credentials for Reigns as a competitor, for Heyman as a manager, but now each man is making a strong case for the greatest of all time. Together, they have unified titles, created multiple main events, and set the foundation for the bloodline. And the scary thing is, Reigns and Heyman are only getting started.
is his yard, his table, his industry. Reigns has always had unparalleled power, agility, and in-ring knowledge, but now he's backed by the brilliant mind of Paul Heyman. And with the bloodline by his side, Roman Reigns can't be stopped. Legado del Fantasma. High-flying superstars who are all business. And his opponent, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Each man individually is a top-level high flyer. Together, they're unstoppable. Especially since they'll do anything to win, even kidnapping. Well, he acknowledged the tribal chief first. Now he attempts to do what few have done. Good luck. He's going to need it. Just look at Roman Reigns. His focus is ever here. Tonight. Reigns is arguably the most explosive superstar in the business today. Yeah, I've been in the ring with Roman before, and his offense truly hits you like a ton of bricks. And that was early in his career. So just imagine how it must feel now. Safe to say that Reigns redefines the term hard hitting every time that bell rings. And facing him is Santos Escobar, one of the more controversial superstars today. Escobar is obsessed with the legacy of Lucha Libre, but wants to create one on his own terms. No mask, all results. Escobar's creating a new, modern tradition one minute at a time. As far as he's concerned, he doesn't need to wear a mask to properly honor his ancestors. And I think Reigns' biggest asset in this match might be something beyond his physical gifts. What do you think, Corey? I think you're onto something, Cole. And there's the cover! Shoulder up before the count started. Not a whole lot of luster behind that kick out. Nice. Short punch. Jeez, and now Escobar has damage to his face. Once again, redefining. Oh, Roman Reigns about to put his opponent away. No getting up from this. Reigns got all of it. Is it enough? The cover. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner. So perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come.